Hi there. Uh, today I thought I'd show you how to uh, customize uh, Manjaro XFCE 17 um, for a, mo a, a smaller display. Um, and this is for all of XFCE uh, for that matter. Um, as you can see, I've actually put the panel on the left side uh, or moved it. It was on the bottom. And, and how to do that, I'll show you uh, how I how I went about it. Um, right click on the panel, left click to panel preferences. Um, and when it's locked, uh, I'll close it first. You won't see anything highlighted as you can see now. But when you're wanting to move the panel, you'll need to right click, go to panel preferences, click unlock, and that's when you'll see the little uh, uh, highlight around the, the panel. And then uh, if you're going to move it, say, uh, horizontally, you would change horizontal and then it's up there and now you can move it in a, in a horizontal fashion, as you can see now. So, uh, and now I'm going to restore it back to show you the next part of this. So when it's in a vertical fashion, to get these icons in this uh, manner, you need to reverse the whisker menu normally would be at the top when you install your Manjaro or XFCE. And what you do is what you'll do is just reverse all of these to get uh, this laid out the way I have it. I also um, deleted the uh, clock and uh, actually you could just move the clock. You don't need to delete it. The clock would be in here in a horizontal fashion. And what I did is physically just move it to this panel. I created this empty panel and then uh, right clicked on the icon uh, and left click, uh, uh, it'll say move. I'll give you an example. If you right click on an icon, you have the ability to move it. So you would click move and then I moved the clock up here is how I actually got that uh, up there. Um, anyway, so once this is done, you've got your panel basically done. Um, hit close and you're done with that on the main panel um, and then what I've done with the uh, my main apps I put down here and they're in a it, what they call IntelliHide uh, uh, mode so if I I'll give you an example if I uh, open up LibreOffice let's see if it's maximized you'll see that it it auto hide automatically the panel as well as the clock and that's because I, I uh, enabled the, the settings in there for that um, and I'll show you basically how I did that so uh, for this panel just right click on the panel uh, left click preferences you'll see it says intelligently automatically hide the panel intelligently you can never hide it you can intelligently intelligently hide it or always so for that panel the bottom and the clock, I've done it intelligently, so they just disappear when I maximize a, an application. Um, now this panel uh, is set to um, always, because th basically this, these are my media apps and I don't need to see them all the time, so I, ju I just always hide them. And all I have to do is hover the mouse there and they're there. And there's a little bit of a the pan showing of the panel, um, even under transparency, it's not totally gone, but that might be a good thing so you know it's actually there. Um, however, you don't even see it. Um, well, let's see if I max. No, when these are maximized here, I don't notice these, but it, it may be, I'm not sure what the reasoning is on, on that. Um, but on the clock, uh, also right click, left click properties to change the size of this clock to make it look like this also I guess is what I should show you is a right click on the on the clock um, uh, left click properties under layout you'll want to change it it'll normally be under digital which is a tiny little clock and that's the reason why I went to LCD and then I changed it it was a 24 hour uh, enabled 24 hour when it was in a tiny mode and I unticked that, but I ticked flash time separators so that those flash. And 
then you're done with that. But if you want to make the clock larger, then you would go into your panel and then here's where you can make the clock as large as you want. But I, I prefer it at around 55 if I can get it back there. And, um, oh, and I should show you that if you lengthen the panel, you're going to get a, you're going to see this transparent panel also. And, um, that's so you can add other icons if that's what you want. But all I want to see is a clock. So that's set to one. And then to do the transparency of the panel, uh, under background, the second tab appearance, and it'll say background under, uh, style. You have none, solid color, background. I have it set to solid color. Then under alpha slider, you change it to um, whatever transparency you want. And I, I put it to 30. And that's how I get the look like that. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, oh, and then these, um, the apps that are open, like I have Simple Screen Recorder running um, it, here's the, the, um, app running and in a vertical fashion, you'll just see an icon. I don't think I had to make a change for that. I think it automatically changed when I went vertically. I, at least I hope so. I'd have to explain in another video on how to do that. If, if it, if it doesn't automatically do it, but I believe once you go vertical, it'll show an icon instead of text because horizontally you'll see shortcuts where it'll display the text uh, representing the particular app that's open. So um, that might be a small compromise when you're using this uh, you know, smaller screen to have an icon instead of text, but you can hover over the item or visibly you'll be able to discern what app you've got running. And um, that's about it. Um, th uh, thanks for watching.